Hello Sagittarius, it's Melady from Melady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your bi-weekly reading for the week of 9-4 through 9-18-2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box. Below, email me and we can set something up. All right, so what's going on? What's going on? Make sure to check your sun, moon, rising signs. Uh oh. Ah, so there's door parties going on everywhere here, okay? I feel like it's going on everywhere. Both sides. Even if you're just talking to somebody, that's considered cheating. To me, inappropriate talk. Leads to inappropriate things. Alright, what's going on? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Love reading for 9, 4, through 18, 2017. Alright, so this could be somebody um, being demasculated. Or this could mean um, you're dealing with a, a, a arrogant person. Mm. Okay, yes. Yeah, so somebody let go of you because you're just demasculating them. Okay. Okay, and it seems like you're demasculating them because of some kind of secrets. Remember, this is a uh, general reading. This could be the opposite way also. All right, so what are these unseen events for the Sag? What are these unseen events for the Sag? What's going on for the Sag? Ooh. Okay, so I'm feeling like here somebody don't know how to... I don't know. Somebody's still in love with their ex. Somebody's still in love with their ex. So this new person, they sort of like treating them like crap. Mm. Okay, so, um. All right. So, this could be one of two things. I think somebody still, some of you still got feelings for your ex. But here, it's starting to look like somebody doesn't know how to treat or be treated. Somebody don't know how to treat somebody that they love. Like, um, this person left you because you're treating them like crap. And you treat them like crap because you love them. You really care about this relationship. But you just don't know how to act. It's like you're trying to say bad things to make them not think that you're weak or something like that. Sorry. Like be mean so they don't get in so you don't get hurt kind of thing. Okay, so I don't know what you said or did, but this person is not attracted to you anymore. Mm -mm. You must have did some real bad stuff or they must have did some bad stuff to you. But it's like you, you knew it was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. That's why you you did it because you wasn't ready to love somebody else. And I'm, I'm still feeling like it got something to do with the ex. You fall in love with the new person, but I feel like you're still in love with your ex as well. And you don't want the new person to love you. And I think that's why... You you being so nasty to him. Mm. Okay, so this I feel like this person might have said something to you, or maybe you said something to this person to the fact that you're not attracted to them sexually. And it pissed somebody off. Somebody got pissed off about this. So you probably said this to them to demasculate them. And 
they let they let you go, but you really care about this relationship. You just worried about your ex. Yeah, you did this like this because you knew it was going to happen. I mean, it's like you love both of them. Mm -mm. All right, so, wow, that's basically saying it's a, a wise decision to do that. Mm. I don't know, that card just make me just look in the mirror of what, you, what you're doing. Oh. <sighs> Gosh, but I mean, I don't just don't understand why not just leave why you got to insult people because you want to go back to somebody else. I don't know. Oh, okay. So some of you guys are doing this for money reasons. You love them both, but one got more money. And it seems like the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, so somebody is going to get dumped by text message or email or Facebook or something. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius love reading? 9, 4 through 18, 2017. Sagittarius love reading 9, 4 through 9, 18, 2017. Love reading, love reading, love reading. Okay, so this is a unhappy home here. Uh, so unhappy home, so somebody left. Mm. Yeah, this makes me feel like left to go run to somebody else. Just when I look at it. Just about looking at it, but I'm gonna read these cards. I don't know if I said it. All right, so we got the High Orphan and the King of Stabs. Okay, geez, secrets coming out about why somebody was stabbed in the back. So whoever did this crazy stuff, the secret gonna come out about what they did and why they did it. All right, so we got the Ten of Coins reversed. It says violation, theft. Sometimes gambling, gambling, and thrill seeking. Okay, so seems like somebody just like pouring out a whole lot of the, the money, the house money. All right, so we got the knight of staffs, knight of staffs, knight of staffs. All right, and it's upright. It says you may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now is a good time to change where you live. If you want to leave the situation, leave now. That's like uh, you in this relationship with this new person and dogging them out, or they dogging you out. It's just like basically, if y'all live together, you might as well just pack your stuff because this person is already gone. Okay. All right, we got the Five of Swords. Uh, and it's reversed. So it basically says a uh, utter shame, but the overall meaning of the card is um, a card of decision consequences, moving away from people and environment and letting go. So yeah, everything is saying it's time to let go and move away, let go and move away. You know, you can't just keep being nasty and mean to somebody, you know. I mean, that, that don't just hurt them, that hurts you in the future too. Because I mean, every time you be mean to somebody, if you got a heart, you're going to think about, wow, wow, why did I do that a little later on? And, and then you're going to feel like crap and think you deserve it. All right, so we got the King of Staffs is a strong, honest person uh, who is not afraid to lead. This person can listen and advise wisely. Okay, so you got somebody about to come in and tell you what you're doing and if it's wrong or right. So you got the high orphan. And upright is say a search for meaning and truth, a time of self discovery and morality. Sometimes feel, feelings of being overwhelmed, deeper ties to others occur. Conservative ideas. So it's basically like 
I don't know, I feel like some of you just want to be free from everybody so you can find yourself, but I still feel like you're connected to your ex more more than your current. And it could be possibly because there are children there. I'm feeling like it's some kind of other spiritual connected connections connecting you to your ex. Maybe you guys were divorced or something, but it's some kind of spiritual connection or maybe just separated. All right, so now we have the moon and it's reversed. It says frequent mistakes and emotional dilemmas. Yeah, so I can see you, you freaked out about all this stuff. Whew. You don't know who you want to be with because you love everybody, you know, but you feel emotionally tied to your ex for whatever reasons. Oops, sorry, guys. And it, it, I mean, it's tearing you up, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great two weeks.